the question is an asset was purchased for rupees 10000 on 1st april 2009 read the question very carefully there are three sets of questions asked in the number calculate the following one the depreciation expense for the year ended 31st march 2010 in straight line method is equal to amount to be depreciated whole divided by number of years of life of machine hence amount to be depreciated is cost price plus installation charges minus scrap value whole divided by number of years of life of machine that is the cost price is rupees 10500 plus installation charges zero minus scrap value rupees 500 then the life of the machine is 10 years hence it is rupees 10000 upon 10 years here the depreciation per year will be rupees 10000 pa per annum second part of the question is the net book value of the asset on 31st march 2014 hence second part, the net book value of the asset on 31st march 2014 that is cost price minus depreciation till date we bought the machine in the year 2009 9 to 14 9 10 first year 10 11 second year 11 12 third year 12 13 4 year 13 14 5th year five years depreciation will be deducted that is rupees 10500 minus rupees 1000 rupees depreciation per year for five years we bought it in on 1st april 2009 and today is 31st march march 2014 this complete 5 years hence after deducting depreciation of for 5 years we will be getting rupees 10500 minus rupees 5000 that is rupees 5500 this is the net book value of the asset on 31st march 2014 third is the gain or loss on sale of asset on 31st march 2016 the gain or loss on sale of asset on 31st march 2016 is equal to cost price minus depreciation till date of sale minus sale price cost price is rupees 10500 till 31st march 2016 from the date of purchase 1st april 2009 it will be complete 7 years we have to deduct depreciation for 7 years that is rupees 1000 into 7 years minus sale price we sold it for 600 hence the loss on sale is rupees 6 rupees 10500 minus rupees 7000 minus rupees 600 that is rupees 2900 which is our final answer